Now, ITV News has learned that patients with celiac disease are having their support cut or reduced by over a third of local health services in England. The condition affects one in 100 people in the UK and many need to follow an expensive diet. Well, last month we revealed how three quarters of doctors are rationing care in England because of cost cutting. Our health editor Rachel Younger met one family who feel the NHS is turning its back on their problem. Let's see what we can find, shall we? For 11-year-old Bethany, shopping gluten-free is no fad. It's the only way to control the debilitating symptoms of celiac disease. But it's not cheap. We need some, we need some more plain flour, okay. so that's it. Her family struggling to budget after Bethany's prescription for specialist food was withdrawn overnight. The prescription I worked out was worth about t just over £20 to us a month but that may not seem like a lot but when you're having to pay out extra for the gluten, special gluten-free products anyway that's actually quite, quite a lot to cope with. Last year the NHS spent £26 million on gluten-free products but now prescriptions that have been relied upon for years are being taken away. Over a third of England's 221 CCGs, which hold the purse strings for local healthcare, are now restricting gluten-free prescriptions. And ITV News has learnt 17 have stopped them entirely for adults, with 12 regions cutting all prescriptions for children too. And they're unrepentant. We need to be providing services for our population that they need across the whole gamut of, of health services. So it's important that we use the money we have got for emergency care, for cancer treatments, for surgical interventions. All that, all that funding comes down to a commissioner to make a decision. And we make our decision based on the need of the population that we serve. But there are concerns the food cutbacks could be a false economy. If people can't stick to their diet, then they are at risk of things like osteoporosis. A hip fracture could cost the NHS anything between 20 to 70,000 pounds to deal with. And right now, it leaves Bethany feeling like the NHS is turning its back on a painful condition that can be contained, but only if you can afford it. Rachel Younger, ITV News, Norfolk.